Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Flex Your Freelance. I know that it's been a while. Obviously, as with everybody else, there's been a lot of different things going on in my life, my family's lives, and just trying to adapt to this new sense of normalcy. But with all that being said, I hope that you and your family are doing well. And I just wanted to kind of get a refresher for those who might be kind of feeling in a creative rut and just kind of spark or reignite your creativity again. All right, so three different things just to spark things up again. So the first thing is to do something completely out of your comfort zone. Even if you feel silly, it doesn't matter. Just do something that you are excited about or something that you've been wanting to do that's going to spark or reignite that level of creativity that you possess. All right, second thing to do, don't feel judged. I know it's completely bizarre, especially in this day and age with all the technology and things going on that we're all going to feel judged. I mean, I've been feeling judged ever since I can long remember. And that was before my space and Facebook and social media and things like that too. So put yourself out there, be yourself, be genuine. People will be able to pick that up and have fun. And the final thing that I just want to remind you all about, because I know that you already know that sometimes it helps when you hear from another person, keep on creating, keep on coming up with different ideas. And even if your regular routine is kind of falling to the wayside because of having to homeschool the kids, or now you're working from home, or you have family members or loved ones who are now home all the time with you, and it's just, it's, it's a different thing for you to have to deal with and work around. Completely understandable. That is the one nice thing that Dexter and I were talking about is that right now we are all in this together. I know I sound like high school musical, but <laughs> um, we are though. We are all in this together. So just keep on spreading love, not germs positivity, virtual hugs, be there for one another. Make sure that you are letting others know too that you know if they ever need to bend an ear, um, you're there for them and vice versa. To be having, to have other people that are in your circle as well that you can trust and confide in is very important for your mental well-being as well. All right. Thanks so much friends for tuning in. I promise I will get some more videos up and going. I'm just having way too much fun on TikTok. I know, apparently us uh, millennials are starting to take over the app and um, having a lot of fun. So you can always follow me on there too. I have different posts that I'm just being really corny and cheesier than a slice of craft cheese. So keep on creating, keep having fun as much as you possibly can. Enjoy your time together with your friends, family, whoever that you may be in close proximity to. Um, be grateful for all of our essential workers, for those who are keeping everything up and running. And I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video or on TikTok, whichever. <laughs> see you later, friends.